the European institutions are not really uh, um, giving instructions to European leaders to whom they should uh, talk or not. I mean, this is the sovereign decision of, of each member state and its leader to decide to whom he or she is talking. But uh, overall, isolation and sanctioning doesn't mean to keep someone incommunicado. For us, always the dialogue is the priority and we always try to keep as long as possible, the communication channels open. Putin is the source of the problem. So if you want to solve the problem, you need to be able to communicate with Putin. And this communication is, uh, is ongoing uh, through various channels and through various leaders. And uh, this is something that has not been cut yet at this stage. On the second question, again, uh, the, the processes related to sanctions are processes which are confidential. And these processes are in the hands of the member states. So if member states decide that... Uh, adjustments to the sanctions regimes uh, are necessary, they will, they will do so. Um, I can only in general say that uh, the sanctions are progressive, so they are increased when the situation on the ground requires so, but they can be also de decreased when the reasons for sanctioning um, are no longer happening or are not longer um, in, uh, in place. But again, any decision regarding sanctions and sanctions regimes are in the hands of the member states, and then they uh, deal with these issues in the processes which are confidential. Thank you, Peter.